Yo, what's up guys, it's Highcross, and in this video, I'm going to be taking you guys through a ping optimization tutorial. This tutorial will make sure you guys have the best configurations for your Ethernet to help lower your in-game ping and lower overall network latency. If you end up finding this video helpful, please consider dropping a like and subscribing to my channel as we're getting so close to 3k subs. With that said, let's get right into the tutorial. All right, boys, so for this tutorial, you guys wanna start on your desktop screen. We're gonna make our way down to our bottom left-hand corner in our search bar here, and we're going to type in control. We want to go into control panel, all right? So once control panel opens up, we are going to go into network and internet. Select that once, and we want to go into view network status and tasks. That is found under network and sharing center. So we're gonna hit view network status and tasks. And from here, you guys are going to see access type internet, connections, ethernet. If under connections, it says Wi-Fi, this tutorial will not work for you guys. It is an ethernet only tutorial. So make sure you guys left click ethernet. From here, you guys want to go into properties. And from here, you guys want to click configure. All right, so we click a lot of things to get here. Once this opens up, you guys want to go to the advanced tab right here. And so what I already did is I went through all of these settings and already optimized them. So I'm going to go through every single one of these settings and show you if I have it on disabled or what setting I have it on. All right. Just copy my exact settings to get the absolute best possible settings for your ping and your network optimization. All right. So we're going to start off with ARP offload. We have this to disabled for DMA colasing. I think that's how you say it. Um, I have it on disabled. For enable PME, you want this on disabled. Energy efficient ethernet, just have it on off. Flow control, just have it on whatever it was originally at. For me, it was RX and TX enabled. For interrupt moderation, have this on disabled. For interrupt moderation rate, I have this on low. Also, this is another case of whatever it was set at originally, just kind of leave it at that. For IPv4 checksum offload, have this on disabled. Jumbo packet, disabled. For large send offload v2 IPv4, disabled. Same with the v6, disabled. Locally administered address, just don't even play around with that. Just kind of leave it. Log link state event, have this on enabled. Maximum number of RSS queues. Make sure you have this set to the highest amount. I have four queues set because that is my highest possible. So make sure you guys set it at your highest possible amount there. For NS offload, have it on disabled. Packet priority and VLAN. Uh, I just have this on whatever it was set at originally, which is packet priority and VLAN enabled. Uh, receive buffers. I have this on the highest amount, and I actually optimized this a while back, so I have my value set at 1024. You guys can copy by settings if you want. That is just what I found works best for me. Receive side scaling enabled. Selective suspend disabled. Selective suspend idle timeout. Just kind of leave it. My value is set at 5. I just don't really want to play around with that. For speed and duplex, auto negotiation, just kind of leave it at what it was at. Uh, TCP checksum offload, IPv4, RX and TX enabled, just leave it at that. For the V6, RX and TX enabled, just leave it at that. Transmit buffers, again, I have it at 1024. I would copy my settings for this if you guys changed it up there to 1024, just kind of change it to that. UDP checksum offload, IPv4, disabled. Same with the IPv6, disabled. Wait for link, off. Wake from S0IX on magic packet, disabled. The link settings disabled, magic packet disabled, and wake on pattern match disabled. If you guys copied all these settings, you guys officially have your ping and network settings optimized. This should hopefully lower your ping, maybe just a little bit in game to hopefully give you the least delay possible and kind of improve your gaming experience. So you guys are just gonna hit okay, and that's gonna save all your settings, and you guys can just close out of all of that, and just exit out back to your home screen, and you guys will have all those settings enabled. I hope this video was of use for you guys. I'm actually gonna throw some gameplay at the end of this video just to show you guys how my game uh, looks and feels with these settings enabled. If this video was of use for you guys, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I will see you all in the next video. Peace.